for knee cars or controlled articular rotations, we're going to be mixing the ability of the knee to extend and flex and then the tibial rotation together. So what we're going to do, you're going to grab underneath the knee real tight as best you can here. And then what I want to do is I'm going to pull my toe up. I'm going to have to have that kind of uh, plantar or dorsiflex there at all times. I'm going to rotate my foot in. I want to feel that tibial plateau rotate in. I'm going to then extend my knee. I'm going to rotate my foot out and then bend. All right. Rotate the uh, tibial arch, the tibia in. Right there, so extend the leg out, rotate the tibia back out, and then bend back. I'll turn a little bit here, switch legs, so you guys can see this a little bit more here. So I'm holding it tight, and now you'll notice, as I go to extend my knee, that I, have, I can't get it fully extended, and that my knee will come away from my body. That's okay, because we're working on range of motion here. Um, obviously, I don't have the ability to keep my knee in that tight while I extend the leg. But Again, we're all trying to get better here, so if I do this on the regular, I should have that ability. So I'm gonna pull the knee in tight. I'm gonna pull that toe up, right? I'm going to rotate my tibia in. I'm going to extend the leg. I'm gonna rotate my tibia out, and then I'm gonna bend. Rotate in, extend out, rotate out, bend back in. One more time, rotate in, extend out, rotate in and bend. Now, one thing you can also do to get more out of this is try to control it a little bit more, just go a little bit slower than I did for the video here. Um, Cause control is really what that's all about right there. And those are knee cars.